What is up guys and welcome back to today's video. Today is our last day of track prep and we are preparing for two consecutive back-to-back -back track days. Number one at Streets of Willow and number two at Button Willow, which is my favorite track. So we are actually heading over to Rocket Garage because I am about to mount some R888s on the car for this weekend. Not only are we mounting the R888s, but we are correcting our alignment because if you guys remember from my first track day, my alignment was absolutely terrible. I think the tow arms and the rear are bent so they couldn't get any tow out on the car. So my car is towed in 0.55 on each side, which is not good for tracking. Putting the r eights on as well as getting a new alignment and we are set and ready to go for our track day. So let's get it. actually going to do the spoon toe arms here at Art of Attack before we go get the alignment and the new tires on and stuff. So Spoon was actually kind enough to overnight these to us from Japan, which is super awesome to get me ready for the track days this weekend. So I believe that my current toe arms on the car right now are bent. So we weren't able to get an accurate uh, alignment last time I got the car line. So these were most definitely needed. Wow, these are actually really nice. Thick boys, a nice coating on them too. Check these out. Spoon everything. So these are the spoon toe arms. We should be able to get an accurate alignment now that we have these adjustable. And we're gonna go ahead and knock it out before we take this car back to Rocket Garage for the alignment and the new tire. So let's do it. All right, Ken, we're back for round two here. Yes. Um, so this is the toe arm, the stock toe arm that we're gonna be removing. And we're about to find out how old and crusty it is and see how hard it is to get off the car. Hammer time. <laughs> That's your favorite tool. Yeah. And the torch. Mm -hmm. Knock it out. Nope. Look at these, look at these jank, these jank toe arms compared to the, oh, the Sparco. Yeah, yeah, this is insane. Thick, adjustable, it has like a nice coating on it too. Stock spoon. Uh, zank, zank, Z zank, zink. <laughs> Sorry, I can't pronounce it. You need to put subtitle on your channel. <laughs> yeah, there's like a JDM zink plated, cause the US one is like gold. Right. It's like these. Oh, US JDM. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna get the stock link right now, just to get it. See, you know, right, right now it's so much shorter. shorter. Yeah. So we're gonna extend it to uh, the OEM spec, and then we're gonna have the alignment guy to play with the alignment afterwards. So okay. this is what we're gonna do. Have a much better alignment for this track day. Oh my God, this is so nice. <laughs> Thankfully, that was a super easy install. The spoon toe arms are good to go. Ken is just finishing up the copper pin here. And we have tons of more adjustability with these. So we're gonna go ahead and throw the wheels back on and let's head to Rocket Garage and get in alignment. Right, we have made it back to Rocket Garage. Before we get on the alignment rack, we do have a set of the Toyo Triple Eights, which are fresh and ready to go for our double track day. This is the first time I'll be using the Triple Eights on the track, so I'm excited to see how sticky these things are and how they perform along with the car. So this is what we're gonna be mounting on the ZE40s for our streets and button willow track day. Next up is alignment. Get this thing hopefully squared away because last alignment was not good. So hopefully this one will be perfect and we are gonna be fully set for the track days. We are good to go. They're 
actually able to fix the entire toe problem, so we are good there. We can't get as much camber as we would like in the rear, because I do need upper control arms to be able to adjust the camber, but that's really the only complaint, but we have negative three up front, which is what we needed, and then we do have another issue over on this side where the caster is just a teeny, teeny bit off because the adjustment has been bent somehow. I have no idea how that would happen, but we do need to bend that caster adjustment back, but just next time when we're on the lift and we can take care of it, but overall, the car should be a lot, lot better on the track alignment-wise than it was for the last track day, so we are good to go here, and the car is all set and ready. <laughs> All right, we have finally made it home. And before we end today's video, oh, by the way, the S2000 alignment was incredible. And I cannot wait to show you guys the two track days that we had because we had a lot of fun. We did really good on the track and I'm very proud of the car, but you guys will see that in the next couple of videos that I put out. But before we end today, I don't know if you guys saw the last video, but if you haven't, you definitely should go check it out. We do have a brand new Legends Media drop that's going out this Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific time. What I want to do for the end of this video is go through every single piece of the new merchandise that is dropping so you guys can get a look at everything uh, before it actually goes live on the site. I am super proud of what we're dropping on Friday and I think you guys are going to love it. So let's go ahead and go through all the pieces of the shirts, the hats, like the accessories, everything because it's really, really cool. So let's take a look. All right, so this is the box I just got in of all the new samples and stuff. Uh, like I said, I'm super hyped on it. And what I'm wearing right now is probably like the most basic shirt that we have of the drop. It's just like our staple tee for this drop. Kind of call it like the speed logo, which I think is super cool. I really like like the simplicity of this one, but this drop is fully based off of like the GTR. We're calling it the matcha drop. So uh, this is based off of how awesome the GTR is. I'm just super stoked on it. So let's go ahead and go through all of the clothing first. First shirt I want to show you guys is the Matcha Milk Tea t-shirt. This is actually my favorite of the entire drop. Here is the front. You guys can see the Legends logo. It's kind of got like the matcha and milk tea vibe to it right there. I thought that was super cool. And I love the Legends as well. It's got a very JDM theme to it. And on the back, we have the Rising Sun along with the Matcha Milk Tea logo again. This is one of the tees. And I get a lot of questions on how these fit. These are true to size. I wear an extra large and this is what an extra large looks like on me. So all the shirts fit as they're supposed to. Here's t-shirt number one. T-shirt number two is something a little bit more sleek and street style. Here is the front center hit. And then the back, which is something that we have never done before. We did like a vertical center hit on the back and I think it came out really good. I'm actually super excited for it. And then the final t-shirt is something that I think is so cool. It's something that we threw in right at the end. We have the boba tee. It's something that's like super simple, but I thought just came out so awesome. It's just literally a boba cup with the Legends logo in the middle of it. It's super simple, but it's like one of my favorites of the entire drop. So we have the boba tee. <laughs> Last but not least, we do have the lightweight hoodie. This is the matcha hoodie right here. We have the center hit right in the middle of the hoodie. Like I said, it is lightweight. It's literally perfect cool mornings or nights or just wearing around the house. It's not super heavy because I know it's getting into summertime, but I love to wear these around the house or just like in the evenings when we're walking and stuff like that. So that's what this is perfect for. I love the coloring and the design of it. Next up, let's go through all of the accessories and probably one of my favorite things that we have ever dropped, this is the first time that we were ever doing this, is instead of doing like a Legends banner flag, we actually went ahead and did a GTR flag of one of my favorite shots of the GTR reveal. This thing is so awesome. Fully colored printed flag, which is something that we have never done before. And I was kind of curious to see how it would come out, but it actually came out freaking awesome. And then of course we have the legends at the bottom too, but we are dropping the GTR flags. And then a lot of you guys were asking on Instagram if we were dropping iPhone 11 cases and yes, we have some brand new iPhone 11 cases dropping GTR phone cases. These came out freaking awesome. They're a little bit see-through as well. Super cool. And then last but not least, we do have a full sticker. Shit. We do have a full sticker pack of all kinds of different stickers from you, for you guys to choose from. So many. And these are actually really awesome. Very nice vinyl stickers as well. This is my favorite one. 
but that is gonna be everything for this drop on Friday. Don't forget it's at 10 a.m. Pacific time, so make sure to set your alarm, mark your calendars. It's gonna be amazing. The response on Instagram that I've shown you guys so far has been amazing, so I'm really hyped that you guys are enjoying it. Hope that answers any questions that you have. If you have any more questions about the merchandise or anything like that, be sure to leave them in the comments and I'll go ahead and answer those for you. But thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to stay tuned because the next couple of videos are my track day videos and they came out amazing. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.